from the NASA Edge. An inside and outside look at all things NASA. Hey, we're here with Gail Peruzic from NASA Glenn Research Center, and she is the guru for exercise countermeasures. I'm a little curious about that title. I mean, is that um, a defensive title because it's really difficult and you want people to think it's easy, or is it really easy? Well, um, we'll, uh, we'll have you exercise here in a few minutes, and uh, you can tell us for yourself if it's easy. But EZLS uh, stands for the Enhanced Zero Gravity Locomotion Simulator. Wow. Um, and locomotion is not train technology. You're actually going to be walking and running in a vertical treadmill. We're going to simulate the on-orbit environment. Before we did this, we actually had to take a physical, and I'm not quite sure how Blair passed it. And, and all I can say, I'd talk more about it, but then we would no longer be a family show. <laughs> It was rough. I actually have a surprise for Chris and for science. I'm going to do an experiment during the run today. I've got my uh, GPS unit here, configured for Mars, and my MP3 player here, um, and I'm going to gather some data. Now, unfortunately, the uh, GPS is en français because I couldn't set the language properly, but uh, I think I can still get some good results. As everyone knows, the most important part about working out is a good stretching program. So I got a mat here to simulate a zero gravity um, stretching. I might do some tumbling moves later, but uh, you know, basically start with a nice, nice uh, moon grab. Yeah. Never dodge the uh, asteroid, you know, kind of those kind of moves and get real limber. But you gotta be real flexible. And then you gotta be able to strike that finish the race pose. So see me at the finish line with some good data and do a little tumbling too. What's the purpose of uh, exercise countermeasures and then treadmill that you're working on here? The EZLS treadmill is a way of simulating on-orbit environment. We're uh, developing devices, uh, exercise systems, and protocols for astronauts for long-duration space missions. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to get your suspension cuffs on your arms and your legs. How are you feeling? Like Iron Man. Okay. Kind of looks like you're getting an ex exoskeleton put on your on your body, eh? And it's very comfortable for Is me. It? So I, I, I think that uh, this I have innate, you know, tolerance for this kind of thing for the astronaut program. You can power it. Because you know, oh. Kelly, he's actually training to be the first media knot to go to the moon in the next decade, so. If you're wearing that shirt, we'll be able to see you all the way there. We can do hardware checkout, we develop new equipment, and we can actually have humans in the system to give us feedback, give us a, a realistic loading regime that we can do these tests with. Well, this design, the EZLS, is based off of a design that's over at the Cleveland Clinic. The difference between our system and theirs is that we have the ability to float our treadmill they don't have the ability to float their treadmill over there. It's like an athletic tuxedo. You look like a cyborg. I'm a cyborg. Now we've got the harness on you, and this is what's going to be pulling you toward the treadmill while you're walking and running. Where, where are you jumping at? 50,000 feet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a base jumper. You're a base you, know. jumper. you know, I'm going to go to the five second drop tower after this and do a little uh, free fall. This looks very technical. I mean, just looking at the apparatus and seeing all the bungee cords and the straps and everything. I mean, what, why do we need all that? To simulate zero gravity on the Earth, there's different ways we can do that. One way is to fly on the parabolic aircraft, like okay. the the DC-9, right. this can give you 20 or so seconds of, of true microgravity. Not an effective workout, <laughs> right? right? I mean, you don't do that on the, the DC-9. Yeah, and, and uh, the, the, the duration is limited, so here we can simulate zero gravity for longer periods of time and do it more cheaply. Next thing we're going to do is get your limb supported with all the bungees. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go into um, Pinocchio mode here. I just, I don't want to hear things like scalpel. It's just amazing that from an engineering design and what, what, what you have to go through just to, to make this all, all work. Yeah. I mean, you got ropes, you got bungees, I mean, you have straps, and it's just, uh, it kind of gives you the, you know, the appreciation, you know, being in a 1G environment and just, when you want to go run, you just go run. Whereas you're in space, it's, it's a whole different ballgame. I mean, you really got to adapt to that environment, and it's not easy. Absolutely. There was a lot of ingenuity and engineering that went into the design. At this point, every part of Blair's body is being supported. We are going to suspend him up off the gurney. He will be completely supported. For the first time in my career, I will be completely supported. Hey, peace out. Right, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh.
Oh, that's, oh, that's freaky feeling. And he's out. I want to be a real boy. <laughs> Feel like you're ready to try and go up to a job? Oh, or... yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark, why don't you take them up to like four miles an hour? Yeah, when you're, when you're touching the, uh, the treadmill itself, I mean, do you. What's it feel like? Is it feel like you're, all your weight's on there, like when you're running on the outside, or is it just like oh. you're just barely touching it? It doesn't feel, yeah, it feels like you're barely touching it. It literally, it's so smooth, Chris. You'll be amazed at just how your feet feel on it. It feels like you're gliding. I'm sporting uh, the harness they have on the ISS currently, this current model. You can see that it's it's not uh, as comfortable looking as the one that they're working on now, and they're about to introduce a new one. So you don't just go up with a new one every time you go up to do a mission on the ISS. You, you have to go through a whole process of, of getting it approved and finding out what works. So this is the uh, current model. I'm sporting it today, Astronaut Wear by Blair. So you want to... Do a walk? Yeah, we'll do three and a half and then we'll... Okay. Like, get ready to, to, for fun. <laughs> oh, my. Your heart rate should go down on this one. Mm -hmm. You're a quick one. It feels like I'm not... I mean, I just... I feel movement, but it doesn't... It's not registering my legs. What got me is just how smooth the treadmill felt. Can we go five? Part of that is it really moves away on your yeah. And it kind of cushions on your impact. It was great. I mean, I, that that is amazing. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yeah, you can see how much longer yeah. it's in the air. How's the uh, heart rate? <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny. Can you bring that up to uh, seven? Yeah, that's that's as high as I went, but you you may go further, faster. We can't rebuild it. We have the technology. We're going to make you faster, stronger. Can you really feel how much longer you're striding? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, I can, it well, feels like I'm, in, I'm, I'm airing it a little bit. The, yeah, the extension is amazing. So, yeah, you can envision yourself on Mars running past to be an opportunity. <laughs> That's right. You doing all right? Yeah, I feel like my stride's even larger now. It's, it's still like I'm, I'm airing it more. Wow. Chris's heart rate is actually dropping under Martian conditions. He's that physically fit. So we may be here for a while. So until next time, you're watching NASA Edge, an inside and outside look at all things NASA. This is NASA Edge.